We enter the penultimate stage of the day then, stage 5, 21.03 kilometers. So it's worth mentioning that despite receiving a penalty for the late checkout from the tyre fitting zone for Oitanek, he did actually start the previous stage and he finished fourth. So Tanek still in the rally, obviously massively down the overall order with that penalty. Rolfen Perrot is across the line and so too is Elvin Evans. So Rolfen Perrot extends on Elvin Evans by 2.4 seconds. We'll have rally leader Thierry Neville through next. He's chased by Ogier only 2.4 seconds behind at the moment. So Thierry Neville goes 8 seconds quicker than Calais Rovenpera at that opening split. Second place man Sebastian Ogier will be the next car through. What can the Frenchman do then? Can he respond to Neville's time? He goes 3 seconds quicker than Rovenpera. So in the battle for first, Neville has extended on Ogier, adds 5 seconds to the overall time he holds over him, at least at the opening split. So Esapeka Lappi will be the next car through. He's 1.3 seconds down on Calais Rovenpera, but he does make inroads into that gap over Elvin Evans. So Katsuta will be the next car through then. He goes 1.8 seconds slower. So Neville quite f clear out front at the moment. What can Danny Sordo do? Thierry Neville is currently 5 seconds quicker than second place in this stage currently, which is held by Sebastian Ogier. So Danny Sordo 2 slower than Rovenpera, so 2.1 down on Rovenpera. However... Lappi does extend on him by 8 tenths of a second. We will have the final car through the opening split now. Sorry, that's uh, incorrect, obviously. Tanak is still in the rally. So, Serderides losing further time. So, Tanak is 33.6 seconds behind Serderides. So he will reel him in at some point today or tomorrow. Um, in fact, he's taken 1 minute 10 second, 10.2 seconds out of Serderides if the timing is correct. But after that, there's a long way back to Katsuta in 7th place. Tanak beginning to get used to these sort of situations unfortunately where he loses out massively early on in the event the opening day and then he's just trying to pick up the pieces of the weekend trying to keep that championship hope alive which surely this is the end of it for him so Robin Perra is across Elvin Evans too is across so Robin Perra extends on his teammate Elvin Evans by 2.4 seconds we haven't had a comment from Robin Perra, but Evans at stage end saying, pretty slippy, but also quite rough. Quite a lot of unexpected impacts from these water trenches. From these water trenches, sorry, you just never knew what was coming up next. So we've also got Thierry Neville through. He goes even further ahead, 14.3 seconds quicker than Calais Robin Perra. So Thierry Neville will definitely be happy with that result. He said at stage end, tough to make a choice before the stage which tyres to go with. I said I would go all in. The conditions are tricky in there and what we can take now is good to have for tomorrow. It wasn't a nice stage to be honest. Very rough in there and I was crashing through a lot. So OJ comes through. 9.3 seconds then. So Neville extends 5 seconds on Sebastian Ogier. He said at stage end, for sure, uh, Neville's tyre choice was right, but the rally is very long and we don't have that many softs. It's all about strategy. So Lappi has taken 6.5 seconds out of Elvin Evans in there too. 
a good result for the Finn. We'll have Takamoto Katsuta across the line next. First, though, we'll hear from Lappy. He said, I didn't have time to watch the onboard of this stage, so I didn't have the marks on the pace notes. And the radiator is leaking. So an issue for Esapeka Lappi then. He'll have one more stage to run. Hopefully he can rectify that problem, be it on the road section or in service later on. And hopefully it won't hamper his progress too much. So Katsuta 2.4 seconds quicker than Rovenpera. He said, it's very obvious that we have no gri grip here. It's quite hard to drive. Hopefully the next one should be better for us. Danny Sordo will be the next car across the line. He's currently 3.9 seconds behind Esapeka Lappi. And he drops further back. So Esapeka Lappi extends by 1.5 seconds on Danny Sordo. Serderides will be the next car through. So, Sordo saying, very tricky conditions, and also, maybe some parts are cleaning a little bit, but other parts become worse with the mud. I was quite happy with the car, but it's not easy to make a proper, really nice stage. So, we've got Serderides across. So, at the front then, Rovenpera has taken 9.3 seconds, sorry, OJ has extended 9.3 seconds on Calais Rovenpera, a really decent performance there from Sebastian Ogier, and Neville has further extended. So Neville and Ogier have both pulled clear of third place man Calais Rovenpera. Rovenpera has extended on Elvin Evans, but Lappi is beginning to close. Well, he's closed quite substantially on Elvin Evans and should take fourth place at the end of this. But Tanak is the stage winner then. He said, I believe, I don't know the details, it was probably the same issue as Lube had, which we now know was a water pump issue. Um, lucky, lucky getting it into the tyre zone rather than what Lube had. So at the end of stage five then, Oit Tanak takes the stage win, followed by Thierry Neville and Sebastian Ogier. So, some solace, at least, for Oit Tanak then. He was 22 minutes late checking in to the final uh, previous stage. So, he's dropped down the overall rankings, but he's picked up a stage win. So, Evans falls to 6th place then. Entering the stage, he was in 4th place, but that has now been taken by Esapeka Lappi. So, Elvin Evans... Is he beginning to fall back from the leading set of drivers? He definitely needs to respond soon. Up next then, we enter the final stage of the day. 28.32 kilometers to close things out. 